Hello, I'm Mordecai Tolo, Field Operations Officer for Jamaica Eggs iPro, and I'm here to talk to you today about growing your day old layer chicks. First of all, you have to have a clean environment for these chicks. If you just built your house, you have to put in new litter and make sure the litter is sanitized. You can use bleach, a 10% bleach solution, or if you have the house already and you used to grow other chicks, you need to remove all the litter and put in fresh litter and spray that new litter with bleach again or copper sulfate. Then you need clean equipment. You need clean plasans and feed pans and uh, you also need to enclose the house. You have to enclose it with tarpaulin or white curtains that will help to keep out the draft and help the birds to have a warm, comfortable environment. And then you also need a foot bath so that as you step from outside into the house, your feet will be sanitized. That's important to give the birds a good, clean start. So we have to start with clean equipment. And this is our plasan. As you can see, it's clean. And it has to be thoroughly disassembled and sanitized and reassembled so that we are ready to go. No dirt, no grime, everything should be clean. And then we use an adjuster and we adjust it down to the level of the baby chicks. So you want it to be just above, above the ground, touch the ground and up back a little bit like that. Just being able to move off the ground, the chicks can drink from it comfortably. When the birds arrive, you feed them in the trays. This is the feed tray, the chick tray. You feed them in this for seven days. After which, you remove it out of the house and you use the bottom of the pan. You feed them in this for an additional seven days. At two weeks, you'll then assemble the feed pans and the birds will eat from that, from that time onward. So you go right ahead and assemble the feed pans. And now you have to adjust it to their height so it will be just about there, just barely off the ground. And they'll eat from that from two weeks onward. During the growth phase, temperature control is important for the comfort of the birds. I have with me here an infrared thermometer that's going to measure the temperature of the roof as opposed to the temperature where the birds are. Let's do that. As you can see, on the roof, we're getting 112 degrees. While where the birds are, we're getting 90 degrees. Now, if these birds were enclosed all day long, they would have over 100 degrees radiating on them. And that would make them stress. They wouldn't eat properly. So, we want to make sure that the temperature is right. And one way to keep the temperature adequate is to allow airflow during the course of the day when there is high outside temperature. Lighting is important for the birds. In week one, they need 21 hours of light so that they can find feed, eat enough feed, find water, drink enough water, and be settled but they also need three hours to sleep. So it's important that the farmers adhere to the Jamaica Eggs IPRO lighting program as closely as possible. If you do, the birds will do well. When the birds arrive, it's important that the house is prepared. The curtain should be in place and up to keep out the draft. Inside the house, you need to have the litter covered with paper so that the chickens will not eat the litter, but they'll be able to find the feed. Then you want to scatter some of the feed, just for day one only, on the paper. And the birds are able to find the feed easily until they get accustomed to eating from the trays. You also need to have the water set with the right level of water. And you want to make sure that the birds have antibiotics in the drinking water so that they can get a clean start. And if you do that, you'll be on your way to profitable egg production, farming smarter, 
the Hyperwing.